Are you ready to go outside? My coffee is ready and look where is Mr. Rancho. Uh, from one dog lover to another, there's two options of the design. This one is work hard, by harder. But I need to package these up and take them to the post office, so let's go do that. I'm watching a video by a couple of Winks. Definitely go and check out her channel. She's got a beautiful working line, German Shepherd, and she also has her own business. Uh, she does like t-shirts and stickers with dogs. It's really amazing. Go check that out. And I decided to organize Rancho's stuff because there's just too much of it. And yeah, it needs some organizing. And I found out that we're running out of Rancho's toothpaste. It's a really great one. It actually works and you don't need to brush his teeth. You just apply it on his teeth and that's it. I'll have a link to this toothpaste in the description below. If you want to try it, it's really great. And while I'm at it, I've already mentioned this, but uh, these clippers, these nail clippers are really good. Uh, they look very basic, you know but they're one of the best that I've ever had. So if you want clippers for your dog's nails, try these ones. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can find them. Oh, hello there. <laughs> yeah, he does this every single time. He just looks at me and then he goes. It's time to answer some Ask Rancho questions. Okay, just a reminder, if you have a question for us, uh, leave it down below with the hashtag Ask Rancho. And we're going to answer some of those questions in, in our Vlogmas videos. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the questions. 
So question number one, Sandra asked, I see in one of your first videos when you were a little puppy, you had a crate, but I've not seen it in later videos. Can you please tell me if you still use your crate or if not, at what age you stopped? So a very interesting question. We did use a crate when Rancher was a puppy. It helped us a lot with potty training and also back then we lived in a rented apartment and we couldn't really afford to let him destroy the place. <laughs> and I think even if we'd had our own place, we wouldn't have wanted Rancho to rip it to pieces. We actually stopped using the crate sometime after we'd moved to this apartment, uh, which was when Rancho was about seven months old, uh, if I remember well. And he was already fully potty trained. And the reason we stopped using it was primarily because he'd grown out of it. And we didn't want to get a bigger one because this apartment is very small and a crate that would be big enough for him would look terrible. And the first day without a crate, we let him roam free when we left the apartment. And that was a mistake because he decided to take his frustration out on his bed and on our mattress. So the next day we started using our entryway as a sort of crate. And every time we left Rancho alone, he was in there and all the doors were closed and he couldn't roam free around the apartment. And at the beginning, we had to hide all the shoes and jackets every time we left. He, he still had a few slip ups, but because there was almost nothing else there and we always left toys and some wood for him to chew on, he never got into the habit of chewing on furniture and clothes and stuff. We actually only left another room open for him when he was maybe two or two and a half years old. I think a crate is a great tool. If I had a puppy now, I'd definitely use it again. But Rancho was very happy when we got rid of it. He never learned to love his crate. You know, I know some dogs love their crates, but he was never that kind of dog, probably because we didn't have enough experience with crate training and I would definitely do a lot of things differently now. You know, you live and learn, right? Okay, so the next question, Kira asked, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Are these dogs good to walk off leash? So yes, they are, but they need a lot of training before you can let them run off leash. I recommend working with a reputable dog trainer by nature, these dogs are very responsive to training and if you do it right, you'll be able to walk your dog anywhere without a leash. And I dare say that if you have a Belgian Shepherd and only walk them on a short leash, you're going to have a very unhappy and frustrated dog. You know, these dogs were bred to hurt sheep and to run. They don't want to be constantly attached to somebody. It always fills me with happiness to see Rancho run on our walks. All right, so these were uh, our answers to your questions for today. In our next video, we're going to answer some more questions. Uh, don't forget to use the hashtag AskRancho. And uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. If you liked it, uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. And we will see you next time. Yeah.